Hello scientists, welcome back to my channel and I'm going to talk about this very iconic anatomy atlas, the Gray's Anatomy. It was published in the UK in 1858, so that means the book is over 160 years old. Well, not this one. This is a new print by the Barnes & Nobles. This is a special collection that is based on the 15th edition. First, let's take a look at the cover. You see that they have this really beautiful gothic design, which I think suits the uh, theme of anatomy really well. Uh, it gives a vibe that it contains some secret dark knowledge, which is kind of true for anatomy because dissecting human body wasn't allowed until uh, 1832. Definitely there is an element of uh, taboo. They have these really beautiful silver bronzing all across the cover, spine and the back, even on the edges of the pages. So you see it has a metallic shine. That is so cool. On the front page, there's the heart illustration colorized version. Let's take a look at the content. All the illustrations are in black and white. They are woodcut. This approach allowed them to mass print back in the 19th century. The goal for Henry Gray was to make the anatomy books cheaper so more students can afford them. So apparently he achieved his goals because uh, Gray's Anatomy became one of the most popular anatomy atlas. And now let's get into the tea of uh, the making of this book. What's the beef between these two authors? Henry Gray was an anatomist and a lecturer at the St. George Hospital Medical School in London, and he was uh, quite an established academic. He was a fellow of the Royal Society. It is one of the most prestigious titles you can get as an academic in the UK. Their fellows include Isaac Newton, uh, Charles Darwin, and Elon Musk. So it is quite impressive Henry Gray managed to get that at the age of 25. Besides his academic achievements, we don't really know much about his life. Uh, he died quite young at the age of 34 from smallpox. It's a very typical academic biography, so I, I thought it was just that. Uh, but then I got in interested in uh, who Henry Carter is since I'm a scientific illustrator myself. I also want to know why his name was not on a title. At first I thought it was just one of those common cases that illustrators are not credited as authors in these publications. For example, uh, Fresalius and uh, Pankov, like both of these anatomy atlas, they are named after the anatomist who arranged the publication. But when I went to research about Henry Carter, then it turns out that there was a different story. He kept his diary since 14, so there's documentation about what's happening between him and Henry Gray. Henry Carter was born in a painter's family. He didn't come from a financially well-off family, so he often had financial struggles. Then he has to freelance to uh, compensate for his livelihood. He even purchased advertisement in the journal Lancet to promote his uh, scientific illustration business. It is quite adorable. You see that he cropped it and then pasted it in his diary. Gray was his professor. And during that time, Henry Carter has started to do some commission work for the professors at the university so that they didn't pay him very well. Gray was one of those professors who did not pay his invoices. And he even wrote that uh, his first impression about Henry Gray was that he was a snob. Could be very true because Henry Gray became a fellow of the Royal Society at 25, so maybe he, he was quite a proud person. So that attitude might put Carter off a little bit at the beginning. They probably managed to adapt to each other's personality, so they managed to collaborate with more projects. And in 1856, Henry Gray approached uh, Carter to, uh, about his idea of creating an affordable atlas for medical students. And at the beginning, Carter was very reluctant about this proposal because A, there are some invoices that has not been paid. And B, uh, he was really busy with his uh, examination to become a doctor of medicine. But eventually they negotiated and then Henry Gray agreed to give him a salary of 10 pounds per month. It took about over a year to complete the, uh, the illustration and the text. And the first edition was published in 1858. Now here comes the juicy part. Let's take a look at the draft for the first cover. And you see that uh, the title is anatomy, descriptive, and surgical, and then both 
Henry Carter and Henry Gray are the author. But somehow, after this published, Henry Carter's name became so small that uh, it seems that he only has a minor role in illustrating the illustrations. So if you look at the timeline, when this book was about to be published, it was also the time that uh, Henry Carter got enlisted into his mission to India, which was a really great opportunity for him. So he was busy finishing his doctoral degree and uh, preparing for his mission in India, and then he went off in March. His absence might be the reason why uh, he had no control over how he's going to be presented on the cover. It was changed in the second version into Grey's Anatomy. By then, Henry Carter was not in the UK mainland. This is also a very important story to remind us that uh, as scientists, make sure you be there for your project to uh, secure your rights and your credit. In Carter's case, I think he, he did secure his right of the royalty fee um, because in his biography, uh, they say that he enjoyed a good uh, return, financial return from the success of the Anatomy Atlas. I'm really happy for him. And he went on to have a way more interesting life than Henry Gray. Mm -hmm. He also studied uh, tuberculosis uh, as a pioneer in India, and he also got really prestige position in the surgical society in the UK. His love life was also very fascinating because he married a girl, and then later on he found out that she used a fake name. She actually was a divorcee who cheated on her ex-husband that's why she got charged with adultery and she changed her name and then married Henry Carter he wanted to annul the marriage but uh, they already had a daughter so if he uh, annulled the marriage then he had no legitimate uh, right to be the father of his daughter there was a whole juicy mess going on after 30 years in India he returned to the UK and then uh, he married another woman at the age of 49 he had two new babies but immediately after that he died of tuberculosis along with his wife. That was the end of Henry Carter. If you want to check out his biography, you can also find the link in the description below. Also leave the link to this uh, collective edition of The Grace Anatomy. It is re a really beautiful book to put on your bookshelf. There's no shame in buying book as decorations. I'm doing exactly that. The content of this book is from 1901. So uh, this is more for like a decorative collective purposes. Let me know in the comments what you think about the beef between these two authors. Give a like if you enjoy the story. Subscribe if you're new here. And you can check out this video about Frank Netter. He made another very iconic anatomy book. I see you there.